What's going on guys? Alien Milk coming back with another reaction. Are hermits cra- <laughs> Are hermit crabs OP? Now I owned a hermit crab and my mom uh, was changing his cage out. I owned it when I was really little so I was afraid to touch it even though I owned it. Um, when my mom was changing his cage out she dropped him on the ground. Uh, he went into a, into a shell and didn't come out for like three hours so he, she thought he was dead so long story short leaves him in there. Next thing we know, next day, his shell must have been cracked or something, so he got out of the shell, tried to go to the next one, and just died trying to get into the, his next shell. So I can't imagine that they're too OP, just based off of that fact alone, that a little crack, and he couldn't even get to the new shell that he had out. So, yeah. But Tirzu, uh, November 16th, 2021, 1.5 million views. I heard my crabs OP. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Gooperfish took damage. <laughs> Tears ooh. Fire. At first glance, beaches may seem like one of the most relaxed, casual biomes in the entirety of the game. But upon further analysis, in, in, in the entirety of the game, are just as intense a battleground as every other biome. As every other Fight biome. Fight survival never stops, and so of course. There have been a wide variety of strategies and builds that players have come up with to give themselves the best odds. <laughs> In particular, I like how he treats it like a game. Cover makes stealth strategies less effective, which in turn creates an essential need for other ways of avoiding attacks from predators, <laughs> especially aerial predators. <laughs> Crustaceans in particular are at a pretty big disadvantage. As they <laughs> the the crab's like, get the fuck away from me. What the fuck is this thing? Single combat this thing just came and saved the fucking However, crab out of nowhere. Has developed a unique strategy to give itself better <laughs> hermit, crab. <laughs> hermit crab. <laughs> hermit crabs are lit. <laughs> Super so, family. Crabs as a whole aren't all that powerful. It's a BO2 crab, music. Because of their extremely low skill floor, BO2 baby. Which is why you see so many cases of players specking their characters into the exact same set of abilities, without ever actually becoming a dominant meta threat. Still, crab-like builds do tend to have decent base stats. Crab-like builds. They have decent power. stats, decent so base. So with that in mind, you might be surprised to learn that hermit crabs are well below the norm in both of these areas. Compared uh -oh. to similarly sized crustaceans, their crushing vice grip attack is nothing special. Nothing a special? On the weak side, in fact. And while most crustaceans have a tough calcified exoskeleton that functions <laughs> as sturdy armor against a variety of yeah, attacks, that's why mine died because it crabs are one of the few crustacean builds. Because mine doesn't. A very obvious unarmored weak point that can be attacked from yeah under the shell. However, as you might have guessed, simply looking at the hermit crab's base stats <laughs> is a bit misleading. The hermit crab's signature ability, armor scavenge, more than makes up for this weakness. Armor scavenge. This is how they change shells. Its stats to levels that would be otherwise unattainable. The stat this ability's effects are most concentrated in is defense. While the they could take any shell is they want. The in the game when unequipped, as long as they've managed to secure a nice shell, their defense jumps to one of the highest in the game. He used just a whole rock for the shell. The, shell. Owner. the most desirable shells are those of snails, though clam and scallop shells can also do the job. As long as the hermit crab has found a shell to equip, it can block most attacks with ease. <laughs> it just it's literally uses this other thing's shells. Like they can't even grow its own. It's just I need a different shell. I'm gonna steal somebody else's. <laughs> However, a able to <laughs> fucking scavenger. <laughs> through the use of this ability, it's not just defense that can be. These things are fucking lit, though. They're kind of cool. The wide selection of patterns and coloration available among different shells means that a hermit crab can pick and choose what sorts of environments they would like to receive a stealth bonus in. So oh, that's kind of cool. Colored shells will offer bonus camouflage on the beach, while the darker, more jagged shells will offer better camouflage. <laughs> is that even a fucking shell? Swapping between <laughs> shells is just a fucking growth. Can augment their stats to fit their play style, though. <coughs> the shells themselves <coughs> they have a whole trading market. Stats <laughs> One particularly advanced technique what? is putting sea anemones to the surface of the shell, allowing the hermit crab to deal venom damage on contact. This is important because the hermit crab That's so crazy. is pretty mediocre on their own. This is <laughs> universally true, as the coconut crab, a variation of the hermit crab build, packs one of the strongest crushing grips. A variation of the hermit game. crab build. Strong enough, in fact, <laughs> that coconut crabs actually drop the armor scavenge ability once they reach a size big enough to rely solely on their claws for defense. However, this is an exception, and also something they drop the ability. only unlock at high levels. Before that, their game plan is identical to regular hermit crabs meaning these absolute powerhouses still rely on the armor scavenge ability in order to maintain meta relevancy. 
Upgrade the <laughs> crab stats with good shells and add-ons. <laughs> they look kind of dope. They could just fucking that. look however they want to. Unfortunately, it's kind of cool. A proper shell is becoming more and more difficult in the current meta. In part, this is due to the acidification of the ocean, which is a huge nerf to the viability of snails because it causes their shells to partially dissolve. Oh. Less players spawning in as snails. This, in turn, means more competition for those shell drops. But on top of this, choosing a good shell is getting harder due to an influx of plastic garbage polluting all the best looting areas. Now, while hermit crabs are adaptable, and in some cases can even turn this into a win, plastic shells simply are inferior to the calcium shells dropped by defeated gastropods. But when the resource pool is constantly diluted with these low-quality drops, it's hard for builds with low intelligence like the hermit So it's just a common, it's, it's just a common drop. Trash. Ultimately, this is not a problem the hermit crab mains should be subjected to. And to be honest, compared to other beach dwelling builds, hermit crabs have it pretty good. Yeah. The abundance of garbage on beaches can be hugely damaging to less adaptable builds, and something needs to be done. It's a terrible sight. This is why site. I joined Team Seas. Team Seas, baby. The best creators on the internet. This is a very Our good project. 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. And, and they did it, they did it. But yeah, hermit crabs are kind of OP, turns out. Thanks for watching.